pitch clock violation and ejection, both calls, I think, are wrong. So let's get into this breakdown, which is brought to you by DraftKings. Now, both broadcasts missed the first pitch of the inning because Logan Webb's going too fast for him, and they're not used to the new rules. Spring training, I guess, some broadcasts took it off. 0-1, that's 0-2 now on a foul ball. And Webb is working fast. Anderson's getting into the box. He's ready. He's set. Now that's pretty legal, but it's at the 12 second mark. We're working fast, even with the clock, still working fast, keeping the pace. The count is one and two. Anderson steps in. They look at each other. They have a little moment. Everyone's ready. And that's hit down the line. Drops, drops. Anderson talks to the ump, says, I'm good. He says, I'm good right now. I'm good. No timeout. He says, yep, you're good. Okay. Steps back in. Webb's waiting for him. Anderson set. They meet eyes. Throws the pitch. Another foul ball. Now, he's getting out of the box a little bit, so he's like, time. I'm going to take a breather. Three fouls in the last four pitches. Um says, that's his one timeout. The clock is not running. The clock is not running. I'm the ump, and that's his one timeout. Oh, my God. That guy's hair behind him? Wow. Is he, like, doing that? Is he, like, spiking that down onto his forehead? I used to do that in my hockey pictures as a joke. That's okay. Moving on. I didn't notice that when I was editing this. Just just caught my eye as I'm recording the audio now. Wild hair out of that guy. One and two count. And Anderson, oh, he steps out. Webb throws the pitch. The ump says, you're out. You're out. You already took your timeout. You don't get another one. And he's like, it's not about the timeout. And it's not about the timeout. We got to make eye contact. That's the new rule. We got to look at each other. He's like, I didn't, we got to make eye contact. He's like, I thought, I don't know. Uh, Anderson's like, well, all right. It's bullshit. He's supposed to make eye contact with me. And he's right. This is the Max Scherzer update to the rule. So watch when Webb starts his delivery. Anderson is not, quote unquote, reasonably set. And they haven't made eye contact and said like, all right, let's play. Now watch. Anderson, his front foot is he's still getting comfy. His bat isn't up. And he's well within his right to use this time to get set. He's not like waiting till eight seconds and then doing this. That's the rule. And Webb starts his motion. See, see Webb's left foot. He starts his motion and Anderson is not. His feet aren't set. His bat's not up. So Tim Anderson's in the right here. This isn't about a timeout. This is about, this is the rule. We have to kind of like nod to each other and be like, all right, let's go within the time. And the umpire botched this one. Now, the umpires are on high alert for people tricking the clock and gaming the system. So they they got a tough go of it. It's not a fun job for them. But yeah, this is a, a wrong call. He should have docked Webb for starting his motion before both batter and pitcher kind of looked at each other and says, I'm ready to go. You're ready to go. Now, you see how when he starts, the pitcher starts his motion, Anderson's, you know, he doesn't even have both hands on his bat, right? And his left foot's up. Now, if you go back to a previous pitch, Anderson's still doing, you know, the little hip thrust thing. And then both hands are on the bat and both feet are set when Webb's foot comes up right there. That looks a lot different. That looks like a batter that's reasonably set and ready to hit. Unlike that, where he's in the middle of his delivery. So, yeah, I do believe the umpire got that one wrong. But I'm not trying to harp on that because the umpires are learning a bunch of new rules and trying to protect this system that everyone seems to be messing with. Anyway, Anderson also wasn't mad at the umpire. He was mad at Webb for kind of quick pitching him. And he's jawing at him the whole next at bat. And it's confusing everyone, confusing the ump so much that he called that incredibly outside pitch a strike. And Webb is like, come on, man, stop yelling at me. And he says, I wasn't looking at you. Shut the fuck up. And the umpire is going to turn to the dugout and say, knock it off, Tim. And everyone in the dugout's like, what? He wasn't talking to you. He said, you're not, you're gone. How can you throw him out? DJ, what the fuck are you looking at? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to that motherfucker right there. Come on. He's like, okay, so he wasn't talking to you, though. So why are you talking to him, not you? And he says, yeah, I told him to knock it off, and he kept coming back to me. He's like, I can talk to him if I want to. How the fuck are you going to tell me what to do? 
Webb's like, oh boy, this is a whole thing now, huh? Motherfucker's too weak. That motherfucker's too weak. <laughs> so fucking weak. He's going to step back and collect his things. He's going to be mad. He thinks they're weak. He thinks they're soft. Fucking soft as hell. That motherfucker's too soft. Oh, yeah, motherfucker's soft. Yep. I'm talking to you. Nice hair on that one guy, huh? And you soft. Soft. All right. Good stuff. Taking it in. Thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring this breakdown. Appreciate them as always. And, uh, yeah, thanks to the new rules for giving us some of this weird stuff. It is speeding up the game. I like that. But I don't like all the violations and dumb stuff that's happening.